So in a previous video we looked at multiplying out and factorising quadratics where it was just things like, you know, x squared plus 5x plus 6, where, you know, the answer was maybe x plus 2 times x plus 3. And here I want to look at ones that are a bit more complicated. So rather than just having a single x here inside the bracket, we've got a we've got a 3x. So as before, let's start by multiplying out and thinking about what happens. So here, if I multiply it out, I get 3x squared, and then I get plus 2x. Now I get plus 3x times 5, so that's plus 15x, and plus 2 times 5, so that's 10. So um, I've still got that same result, that this number times this number ends up here. So actually, let's just go one more step, and so that's 3x squared plus 17x plus 10. But this bit in the middle is a bit more complicated. It's not just 2 plus 5 is 7 anymore, because this 5 gets multiplied by 3. Now, there are all sorts of techniques that people can teach you, uh, you know, to you know try and uh, do these. But most of them, uh, in fact, all of them, really come down to some sort of trial and error. And really, the best way to approach these simpler ones is by trial and error. And if it's something that's too complicated to do by trial and error, we would use another method, like using the quadratic equation to find the solutions to the equivalent equation and, and use that to factorize it. So, best thing to do just to try and use trial and error. So, because you can see quite a lot from this sort of form, right? So, if it's if I okay, I know the answer already, but if I didn't, well, I'd be looking at this and saying, okay, it's three x squared plus seventeen x plus ten. That's equal to uh, something plus or minus something, something plus or minus something. Now. For these numbers here, for the numerical parts on the right, they've got to multiply together to give 10, so it could be 2 and 5, or it could be 1 and 10. It could also be minus 2 and minus 5, or minus 1 and minus 10. But because this is plus here, I haven't got any negative terms anyway, so it can't really be the, want to be the negative one. So it's got to be one of these, 2 and 5 or 1 and 10. And similarly, for the term that go, terms that go with x, it's got to be something times x. Now, to get 3x, the only way I can do that is for it, for it to be 3x times x, or it could be uh, x times 3x, the other way around. Um, but that's that. Now, okay, now I fixed it as 3x and uh, x that way around. I suppose I should remember that, well, okay, I, I could also have these 2 and 5 could have been the other way around, 5 and 2, or it could be 10 and 1. And I've only got four options. Right, so if this is going to factorize, it's going to have to be one of these. And so we could just simply check those middle terms and say okay well if I if it was t if it was 1 and 10 say it would be 1x and 30x that doesn't work 5 and 2 would be 5x and 6x that doesn't work 10 and 1 would be 10x and you know and eventually would come to the fact that 3x plus 2 times x plus 5 um, works so when I say do these by trial and error people think oh, I'm going to, have to do loads of work but actually for anything where it's worth factorizing there isn't that much work to do and if there is too much work to do it's not worth factorizing it Okay, you may as well uh, apply an, an, another method to find the factorization. So let's have a look at one that we haven't uh, got the answer to, and try and apply the same approach. So it's a quadratic equation. So if it a quadratic expression, sorry. So if it's going to factorize, I'm going to get those two brackets with you know a plus or a minus in here. Uh, but let's make it a plus for now. Two x squared. So the terms that have x in them must have must be two x and x. There's no other way to multiply those terms together to get 2x squared with whole numbers, which is what we're looking for for factorizing. And for 3, well that can only be 1 and 3, 3 and 1, minus 1 and minus 3, or minus 3 and minus 1. And again, having a plus 7 here, I can see immediately that the minus 1s aren't going to work, so I'd get something negative here. So actually I've only got two choices. So either 2x plus 1 times x plus 3, or 2x plus 3 times x plus 1. So let's just see what we'd get. Well, if I put 1 and 3 in, I would do 1 times x, which is x, and 3 times 2x, and that's 7x, and that's giving me what I want, so that is the right answer. Okay, and if we done it the other way around, we'd get 3x and 2x, that's 5x, that wouldn't have worked. So, um, also, the other thing that cuts down the work here is that when you do trial and error, quite often you find it quite early on. So you don't, even if I even if I had 5 or 6 options here, you wouldn't usually have to check all of them. Okay, here's another one, 3x squared plus 20x plus 12. Uh, so, again, let's think, well, okay, the, th the 3x squared term, that can only be made up by 3x and x. And now 12, now 12 is not as nice, it's got a lot more factors, okay, so, but I still do have plus something here, so I'm expecting only to have to worry about the plus ones. It could be 1 and 12, or 12 and 1, it could be 2 and 6, or 6 and 2, it could be 3 and 4, or 4 
and 3. So let's try. Well, if I did 1 and 12, that would be x and 36x. No, 12x and 3x is 15. No, 2x and 18x. Ah, there we go. That gives us the 20 that we want. So it's 3x plus 2 times x plus 6. Now, I suppose the question said, solve this equation then, perhaps solve, that, solve it by factorising. Because this is actually stronger than an equation, this is an identity, this is true for all values of x, I can replace uh, this expression with this one. So we can say 3x plus 2 times x plus 6 equals 0. And just like when we solve the easier quadratic equations by factorising, we can say, okay, well, two things multiplied together to give 0, so one of those must be 0. So it must be either that 3x plus 2 is 0, or x plus 6 is 0. Okay, so this one rearranges to 3x equals minus 2, or x equals minus 2 thirds, and this one rearranges to x equals minus 6. So there are two roots of the equation. The solution is x is minus 2 thirds, or x is minus 6. So slightly harder algebra involved, but really they're all the same ideas uh, as for factorising simpler equations. Okay, here's a slightly harder one, then solve 6x squared minus x minus 2 equals 0. So to factorise this one, well, I'm going to uh, try in the same way. Now, it's a bit harder here because I've got choice for the x term as well as for this term uh, over here now. So 6x squared, you see, that could be x and 6x, or it could be uh, 2x and 3x. So uh, I could try it with one of these and then try it with the other and see which works. And for the choices for minus 2, well, that can either be minus 2 and 1, or it could be 1 and minus 2, um, or it could also be minus 1 and 2, or it could be uh, 2 and minus 1, this way around. Okay. Um, Notice I'm not trying x and 6x both ways around as well because uh, I've got these two, uh, I've done these two both ways around. So I don't need to do both both ways around or I'll end up checking the same thing twice. Um, so let's try it. So first we try it with x and 6x and see if any of them work. So if I did x minus 2 times 6x uh, plus 1, that would give me x and minus 12x. They don't add together to give minus 1x. 1 and minus 2 would be 6x minus 2x, that's 4x, it doesn't work. Uh, minus 6x and 2x is minus 4x, it doesn't work. Uh, 12x minus x doesn't work, so it's not on that one. Uh, we know it's 2x and 3x, so we try these. Minus 2 and 1 would give us minus 6x uh, and 2x, that doesn't work. 1 and minus 2, 3x minus 4x, ah, that's minus x, that one works. Okay, so there we go, it's 2x plus 1 times 3x minus 2. A bit more trial and error there, but still in principle something we can do by trial and error. So that's all equal to 0, and we wanted to solve an equation here, not just factorise it. So that gives us 2x plus 1 equals 0, or 3x minus 2 equals 0. So this one is 2x is minus 1, or x equals minus a half. And this one is 3x equals 2, or x equals 2 thirds. So there are our two roots here, x equals minus a half and x equals two thirds. Okay, here's another one, 24x squared plus 190x plus 45. Uh, if I started trying to look for the options for this one, we'd see immediately, well, 24 has a lot of factors. That could be x and 24x, that could be uh, 2x and 12x, that could be 4x and 6x, there's three options um, there. I've also got 3x and 8x, so that's 4 odd. And 45 uh, as well has, has some options. We've got 45 and 1, and that could be the other way around. Um, I've got 3 and 15, or that could be the other way around. So it's a bit simpler because there's no minus here, but uh, there's a lot of choice here. So actually, if I was to do this by trial and error, I'd have to do this one and then check it with all of these, and I'll have to do this one and check it with all of these, and there's some quite big numbers in here to check as well. So I put this example in because I want to say I probably wouldn't do this by factorising, and certainly at GCSE they're not going to give you something like this that's that hard to, to factorise. Presented with something like this, I'd expect you to use a different method, right? Something like using the quadratic formula. You might, if you haven't done that yet, you'll get to it later. Um, but harder ones like this, yes, it's quite a fun challenge to see if you can factorise it, and actually, uh, if you do do it, it comes out as 12x plus 5 times 
2x plus 15 that works, uh, but probably not one we would necessarily do by factorizing. Okay, so um, as I say, there are other methods out here that will you know, talk about multiplying together to give certain numbers and adding together to give certain combinations of these original numbers, but all of those other methods out there are very similar to this in that actually in the kind of trick they're showing you how to do, you end up having to do just as much trial and error as you'd have to do by by this method anyway. Okay, So simple ones, we'll do it by trial and error. Complicated ones, we'll do something else.